Hi everyone, I'm Chrissy. And I'm Mendel. Well, today, as we continue looking at the awesome book of Acts, we are going on a journey. I'm going to go and get ready. Remember, Jesus had given his followers a mission. And Jesus' mission is that people from all around the world would hear that Jesus is the king. And Jesus' mission is that people from all around the world would accept Jesus as their king. Well, today, as we look at Acts chapters 13 and 14, we are going to see this mission continue to spread. I'm ready. Mendel, what are you doing? I'm ready for our journey. We're not actually going anywhere. Oh, <gasps> we're not? No, I've asked some of my friends to act out the journey that we read about in Acts chapter 13 and 14. Paul lived in this town called Antioch. And Paul was going on a journey. A, no, not a beach holiday. No, not a camping holiday. Uh, no, this was before cars were invented. Sorry, Paul. Paul was going on this journey. Tell people about the risen King Jesus. And so Paul went with the Holy Spirit and with the message of the risen King Jesus. And he set out on his journey. Well, why don't we go on this journey with Paul? Everyone, I want you to stand up and follow Paul. Well, after walking a while, Paul got on a boat and sailed on the Mediterranean Sea. Paul has come to a town. Let's all sit down and see what happens. In a town called Paphos, Paul came across two men. The first man was an important and smart man. And this man wanted to hear about the risen King Jesus. But the second man was a sorcerer. And this man did not want to hear about the risen King Jesus. This man tried to stop others hearing about the risen King Jesus as well. Uh-oh. Maybe this would stop the mission of the risen King Jesus. But Paul had the message and he had the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gives people the power to keep spreading the message. So the sorcerer was stopped. And Paul went on to tell the first man, Jesus is the risen King. Repent and accept Jesus as your King. And the first man did repent and did accept Jesus as his king. Hooray! And then Paul left. Well, first, Paul sailed back across to the mainland. Paul's reached land. Paul walked and he walked until he got to another town. Let's all sit back down and see what happens here. In Pisidian Antioch, Paul met a group of people. Paul told people how Jesus had died, but then he came back to life again. He told them, Jesus is the risen King. Repent and accept Jesus as your King. Some people did repent and accept Jesus as their King, but some people did not like what they heard. This group kicked Paul out of town. Uh-oh. Maybe this would stop the mission of the risen King Jesus. But Paul had the message and he had the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gives people the power to keep spreading the message. Jesus is the risen King. Repent and accept Jesus as your King. Okay, let's stand up and walk with Paul. Paul walked from place to place and he came to a town called Lystra. Let's stop and see what happens here. In Lystra, Paul found a man whose legs didn't work, but with the power of the Holy Spirit, Paul was able to heal the man. A lot of people saw what Paul did and they were amazed. But then they started worshipping Paul instead of God. Oh dear, Paul was not happy about this. He tried to tell them, Jesus is the risen king, not me. Repent and accept Jesus as your king. This made the people mad and they tried to kill Paul instead. 
And when the crowd thought Paul was dead, they just left him there. Oh no, surely this was the end. Jesus' mission was over. But no, God wanted Paul to keep going on Jesus' mission. And so Paul was able to get up and Paul still had the message and the Holy Spirit. And because the Holy Spirit gives people the power to keep spreading the message, Paul continued on the mission. Well, Paul went back the way he came. Let's see if we can keep up. Finally, Paul arrived back where he started. And in his hometown, Paul told everyone, Jesus is the risen king. Repent and accept Jesus as your king. Because Paul still had the message and the Holy Spirit. And because the Holy Spirit gives people the power to keep spreading the message, Paul could continue on the mission. Did you see my brilliant acting? I sure did. I didn't even know you had legs. Ah, yeah, movie magic. But man, Paul was really serious about telling people about the risen King Jesus. And it wasn't always easy. But Paul knew that everyone needed to hear about the risen King Jesus. And so Paul got busy on Jesus' mission. He sure did. But boy, all that acting has worn me out. <laughs> I'm sure it did. I'm going to go and recuperate with some delicious seaweed dipped in sand. Well, today in Acts chapters 13 and 14, we have seen that Paul did take Jesus' mission seriously. He kept telling people about the risen King Jesus, even when it was really hard. And there were lots of times when it looked like Jesus' mission might be stopped. But we know, do it with me, that the mission of the risen King Jesus cannot be stopped. And if you have accepted Jesus as your king, then Jesus wants you to be part of his mission too. You might not travel to all the places that Paul did, but you can be involved in the mission by telling the people you meet, your friends, your family, your neighbours, about the risen King Jesus. Because we have the Holy Spirit living in us and we have the message of the risen King Jesus here as well. And to help you, don't forget to check out the activities and the extras at www.quizworks.com forward slash home delivery. See you next time.